with the useful chef, Claus Olsen. Who's that? You ever heard of that? Where is it in here? Down there? Yeah, down there. What bar? I think Right here, this carnival store. Fireworks on sale. They got a lot of stuff in there. Let's go there and see if it's it. Down there. Well, let's go in here and check this one out and see what they got. Yeah, Windows up. Go look. Get in a minute. I, I think so. I was thinking earlier that I used to read Winnie the Pooh to my son when he was about eight or nine. And I remember the very last paragraph uh, as I was reading it to him made me cry horribly because it was all about people growing up and going away. Mm. And there was a connection. I think children's stories can be very sad and very meaningful. There's an ABBA song in the film Mamma Mia, which is not a well-known one. And I can't remember what it's called about children going away. And, and you know, we're watching it and I look around and uh, my yeah. wife in floods of tears. And like, what's, what's that called? It's not a fake. You know what I mean? It's yes, not I famous. Do. Um, Slipping away or something. Emma in Fulham, West London, says my two-year-old son is obsessed with each peach pear plum. We've got to read it at least twice a night. Twice. Uh, now, well, you've done it once today because you were listening, so that's all right. He'll sit and read it to himself now because he knows all the words. His five- and seven-year-old brothers can still recite it off by heart. I love it when they know the words off by heart, two-year-old, three-year-old. But and they're, and they're doing it, and they think they're reading it. They're all like they 10 pounds for one. So that's just, I'm walking down there quickly to have a look. look. How far is it? This, is it all? I, can see the, I can see the sign. Oh, I'll just walk down there. Go ahead, I'll be right oh. behind you. I know what you mean. I know, we'll, we'll get the name of that ABBA song, but there's something great. There's a powerful thought there, isn't there? Yes, yeah, yeah. so, so how old are your boys now? Um, 12 and 10. And they remember the book? Uh, yes, I do. Actually, I was showing my oldest son on the website shortlist pictures, and I said, which one of these do you think I'd choose? And he said straight away, each peach pear plum. Have you voted yet? Yes, I have, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll see tomorrow whether it wins or not. What is it about each...
and northbound from the Holloway Road. And finally, uh, just one Welsh incident to report. The A4A7 was closed both ways at the Cunliffe following the accident there. That's in the back of Stephen Bruce Very fresh I turned it off to sneeze, that's the problem. I was just making sure you on. Rebecca and Swindon, good afternoon to you. Hello. So if you want to uh, pick up Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, go ahead. I absolutely love this book. I just love all of Roald Dow's books. They're amazing. It's and for me, and I read them as a child. I was actually lucky enough. My Get that sky assortment. You get that sky assortment in there. Uh, um, don't get, don't 